What's your advice for uh, people that are sort of starting out their fitness journey or want to become a business owner like you are? Just uh, start. In space? Just start. Everyone's like, I don't know where to start. I don't know. Go to Google. Open up a fucking sign up to Google Sheets or something. Mm. You know, just start, dude. I think, um, look, if you, I always say, if you have the money, there's always a trade-off, right? If you have the money, you can pay for a mentor to shortcut everything. If you don't have the money, everybody has time. I didn't have the money to begin with. I wasn't making much, so I just put the time in. Mm. Uh, and through that, I was able to, you know, make mistakes, but that obviously in exchange costed me money. Um, so you either you either play with money or play with time, mm. right? There is no magic pill for there's this. No, there's it's no. like you, your advice is just start. It's yeah, not like there's yeah. this three-step process yeah. that you can go down to be successful it's literally just about just start getting, well, and what works for you getting stuck into it yeah. and the same thing applies in the gym right exactly right there's yeah. no there's no um quick fix no. there's no fast way to lose weight there's no, no. fast way to uh, gain muscle yeah exactly it's like really understanding what works for you for example things in your business model might not work with my business model mm. it, it, but theoretically it should work mm. but when you apply i don't know x y or z mm. it might not translate as well so consuming content online is a definitely a great place to start. But having said that, too many people in the fitness space, right? For example, they don't see the results because they keep changing programs. Nobody sticks to a program for long enough. And uh, that could be the same thing in the entrepreneurship space, right? Do you mean um, customers switch programs or do you mean the PTs offering the programs? Are switching no, I'm out? talking about just people in general. Yeah. Like, let's say people are trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. They just don't stick in. A, they don't try a method for long enough to determine whether or not it actually works. Mm -hmm. They haven't accumulated enough data to determine whether they're, whether or not they're headed towards the right direction. Mm. 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 How, how long do you think you have to be consistent to uh, your course, for example, before you start seeing results? I would say three weeks. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm an, I manipulate all the data. I'm watching all the analytics. I understand what's going on with your body and why you're responding a certain way. It'll take longer if you don't listen to what I tell you to do. Right. Obviously. Um, but I manage, and that's another thing I learned about, I guess, coaching in the fitness space has really taught me a lot about business too, because I became so numerical and data driven and, um, less emotional that that was able to translate to growing the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you so you you said you're developing an app. Right? Yes. Um how much how much is that app gonna cost out of curiosity? Twenty thousand? Twenty G's. Yeah. To develop the app end to end on iOS and Android or just one? Uh I believe it's both, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. It's uh do you know what it's built in? No clue. Right. I just right. how do you find these guys? Um referrals. So I know people that's kind of gone through them as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Someone in the fitness space. Someone in the fitness space as well, okay. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Um the reason I ask is I, I, I'm curious as to where your money goes. Yes. You know, because it you've you, you last month you did fifty yeah fifty K plus. Yeah. You know, averaging is around thirty K. That's a lot of revenue. Um It doesn't you, feel like a lot. No, it doesn't, <laughs> right? And you know, one thing I always say is uh when you start making money, you realize how broke you really are. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure? yeah, yeah. Like you're like shit, like, you know, this isn't even yeah. scratching the surface of what I need to be comfortable or feel yeah. secure or yeah. you know, not not be in this state of constantly striving for more. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. How do you manage that? Um and I, are you happy? So I think happiness is unrelated to to money. I think yes, happiness I agree. is a decision, it's something that you I have to agree. do within. Um, I think you should be happy, but should you be satisfied? No. no. Yeah. Um, you should never be satisfied. You should always be striving for, for more. more. Um, you know, whenever I've hit a, a target financially, um, you'd think there would be this big moment of relief, yep. and, but it never comes. No, it that's one thing I learned recently. Yeah. And, and the reason for that, at least in my case, and, and in a lot of people that, you know, have, have a success, um, it's, it's because you're striving for your potential. Yeah. That's that's really the goal you're trying yeah. to hit. Uh, you're trying to beat yourself. Yeah. You're trying to be the best version of yourself every day. And yeah. because of that, it never ends. It never ends. It's just like the gym. You go to the gym, you look in the mirror, you see yourself in a pump, but you'll never be as big as your pump. You know what mm. I mean? You, it's always going to be, you get bigger, the pump gets bigger. You're always chasing something that you will never become. Right. You know? Um, and that's one thing my partner asked me, it's like, why do you want to make, so my goal was to make a hundred thousand dollars in a month. Right. Mm. And she asked me why I said, I don't know. I just want to know. I can't, that was, that was it. 
I just want to know you that can. I can. Because yeah. you can. Right? Yeah. You yeah. believe that you can achieve yeah. that. So yeah. you want to go after it. You yeah. don't want to sell yourself short. No. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, give up on your dreams before you've even had a chance yeah. of fighting for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's that's one thing a lot of people lack. It's mm. it's not they don't have the skill. It's not they don't have the the resources. It's they don't even aim high enough. Yes. Um, they don't Their even dreams are too. Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a good metaphor of uh, you know a, a baby elephant in the circus. What they do is they tie it down um, to you know they put it they pin it down into mm. into the floor, and it pulls and pulls and it can never get out of you know it can never pull the pin out. So it's always stuck. And then there's a fully grown elephant. Um, that they attach the same pin to and drill it into the floor. And the elephant, if he wanted to, could pull it out yeah. within a second because of how strong it is. But because it's being conditioned as a child, it doesn't even attempt to do yeah. it. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's a mental block in, within, you know, if there's, yeah. a, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do no harm. And I think that's where a lot of people fall short. It's they don't, yes. even, they don't even give themselves to dream bigger. Yeah. Um, so it's good that I you're- I gave you goosebumps. 